All right, getting ready to film a little harpist in the tree. It's been a while. I have some footage uh, I still am editing and will post at some point. But uh, in terms of actually filming stuff, of course, it's been it's been winter, and winter in Victoria is not not the worst, but it hasn't been that uh, inviting to get outside. But as you can see, it's a beautiful sunny spring day here. Still a bit of a chill to there, but definitely a great great day to oh and look I don't know if you can see the deer we have a lot of deer here in the hood and uh, cougars occasionally too of course but hopefully we won't run into any of those so I'm just out here in the local park I'm gonna have to cross a road here in just a second um, let's try and get that deer again and there's a, a tree that I spotted, a beautiful Gary Oak, that should be perfect for a harpist in a tree. And I've only been there once, so hopefully I'll find my way. Got my harp, got my backpack, got my camera, and got you guys coming along. And I'm planning to play, here we go. Right, so I'm planning to play Hasselman's Petite Pursuits. And this is a little piece I just, mentioned in my last Harp Tuesday episode. And I was introduced to this actually by my student, Patty. So, shout out to Patty. It was one of the featured pieces in the Harp Column's 30-day challenge in January, French composers. And it's, uh, you'll be seeing a link down below in the video description. You can download the music. It's public domain, freely available. It's a lovely little piece that's playable on the small harp. And it's interesting because it's a bit of an example of how important or how useful patterns and ana analyzing a piece is. Because I've worked with this now with a number of students. And uh, hold on just a second. So I think, I think we go this way. Let's give it a try. And so when I went to work on it myself, I found that, lo and behold, it was memorized, or pretty much memorized. I only hope it's memorized, because I didn't bring any music. And just not from playing it, but just from analyzing it. And that, that idea that if you can create meaning, meaning and patterns in something, it becomes so much, so much easier to remember it. And just a great way to sort of speed up that memorization process. So here we are, heading through a nice little trail, surrounded by these beautiful Gary Oaks, which are native to, certainly to Victoria. And I think, hmm, let me check this direction. I'm not quite sure, but there was one where yeah, oh, I think this is it. I think I spotted it up here. Yeah, yeah, okay. Check this out. So sometimes these Gary Oaks, they create a bit of a nest, as it were. And I think that's gonna be perfect. So, look at this. Okay, so I'm gonna get set up and start filming. Right. Um, so oh, the deal. Scenic spot. Maybe just standing here, I'll find that, so I'm gonna put this up there. Up there. Lens, 
There we are, harvesting a tree. <laughs> that one's fun. <laughs>